from running to catch up with the train to hearing my name pronounced in a funny way and to see my colleagues and friends again like really those were good feelings and i remember telling a friend that that probably regret it if i didn't get to attend my graduation Mm, well i'd given myself enough reasons not to (laughs) but then we have to you know put on our best outfits to show that we are really grateful to god for his unspeakable gifts yeah at all times yeah so the highlight of the event was kind of that for me like i was honestly grateful to god for everything i remember walking to the podium and i was almost crying simply because i was grateful but yeah you know we have to contract yes yeah so welcome back to my youtube channel and today's vlog is a recap of my master's graduation from the university of chester and yeah my name remains comfort oladayo at the girl so stay tuned as i walk you through how the old graduation events went ciao So I traveled a day before graduation and I arrived in the UK on Thursday. Uh, the convocation, which is like the D day, was on Friday. I had no plans to vlog actually, but you know, I changed my mind. I think I should probably receive an award for best in changing minds at the last minute. So the plan was to move from where I was staying to meet with my friend Eniola Chester, where the graduation will be holding. Then we were meant to like proceed together to the venue and most definitely i was happy to see her and i kind of missed her savage responses and thesis yeah first year how are you i'm good <laughs> wow. and my makeup okay let me do on myself <laughs> hello everybody and yeah uh, welcome back to my youtube channel today so i wasn't sure if i really wanted to do this video. <laughs> So um, we're having our graduation today at University of Chester and this is, this is, this is, where she, this is my friend, Eniola, if you watch some of my videos, I think I've mentioned her name, so this is the guy that used to trouble me all the time when I was here in the UK, <laughs> say hi, hello. Okay, um, so today is our graduation at the University of Chester and uh, we are going to get our gown now. The ceremony starts by 11.45. I think we're a bit late, but after the gown, we'll take some pictures and, you know, see you guys. Bye. <laughs> Truth hurts me, you ain't ready. Growth leaves you somewhere better. So take your time and light your mind. It's alright, it's alright, yeah. It's alright, it's alright, yeah. It's alright, it's alright, yeah, yeah. It's alright, it's alright, yeah. It's alright, it's alright, yeah.
So after the collection and wearing of our gowns, we proceeded to like take pictures with some of our cosmates and you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, colleagues, and just catch some fun before proceeding to the hall where the event would, you know, take place. We were meant to sit 30 minutes thereabouts, so we had like just a few minutes to, you know, take pictures, to catch up with friends, and just play around. Congratulations! Yeah, yeah! Thank you! <laughs> Too funny face. Too funny face. When I say funny face, you pout. You want to pout? By the way, what is this? That's the issue. I'm feeling proud. I'm in the dashing of the shoe. I'm going to go to the house. And you are going to enter a video of um, downside of wearing heels. <laughs> don't don't want this YouTube to happen. I'm going to go to the house. So after collecting our gowns, we proceeded to the graduation venue, which was about, I think, less than 15 minutes walk, maybe six minutes there about, and the venue was uh, the Chester Cathedral. Yeah. So you see, you have to scan the.
naartoe. Je hebt even een ronde lach. After the welcome prayer was given by the Dean of Chapel and Senior Chaplain, the ceremony was officially opened. Then the opening address was also given by the presiding officer who addressed the congregation. Good morning everyone. I'm Professor Eunice Simmons, Vice Chancellor of the University of Chester. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you all here today as we mark your individual and collective success. It's a privilege indeed to stand at this lectern to offer my personal congratulations to those who've earned their place in this magnificent cathedral. I'm addressing you as the Chester Co- Afterwards, the presentation of degrees and awards was done for those in Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Professional Studies, 
master of hearts master of public health master of science which was the award i received on that day then also to the bachelors who were also graduating Vice Chancellor, in the name of the Senate, I present to you these graduands for admission to the degree of Master of Sciences in this university. By virtue of the authority invested in me, I admit these graduands to the degree of Master of Science of the University of Chester. Abdul Bassett. Saeed Asif Abdullah. Comfort Oladio Adigobrono. Marian Opaimi Adesanya. Aniola Hadu Roshaikin. Shahabaz Abzal. After the presentation of awards and degrees, uh, presentation of degrees in absentia was also done for students who were not around. Then, one of the students, a graduate of the Medical Genetics Master of Science, came to give the address representing the students. My name is Remy Millian and I was a medical genetics student at Chester Medical School. I am very honored to stand here and talk with you all today. After the address by the students, uh, the Pro's Vice Chancellor also gave a closing address. And I am Pro Vice Chancellor for Student Experience here at Chester. Ceremony draws to a close. We hope this day is proving memorable for you and for those who have supported you through. And the ceremony was officially closed. I declare closed this congregation for the presentation of degrees and awards. Salwa, Sit Universitas Nostra, Port Brigantes, Ponsabas. The national anthem was sung. The closing procession was done.
Members of the congregation were requested to remain in their place while their staff proceeded out, including the graduates who were also invited to walk out of the cathedral. The highlight of the graduation ceremony for me was the fact that I was able to see my friends and my colleagues and it was just a moment to you know share memories and get to see each other once again. You never know when the next time we will be really. So we were meant to have a reception and uh, a little get together that the school organized. However, after the old greetings and you know taking of pictures, by the time we get to the venue, everything was concluded. So we just had to go back to the house and you know do the needful to fill our stomach and all of that. So this was how the graduation went. Thanks for staying on to the very end. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly do that. And yeah. Cheers and thank you. Bye.
it's alright.